Okay. And when you're doing a track like, say, Can't You See, there's we've got Richard Smith, we've got Puffy, yourself, and Chucky Thompson. So how does everyone come on board to do a song like that? Chucky Thompson was on it? Yeah, he's listed it on Can't You See. He, um, he's listed as one of the producers. Um, Rashad Smith, Sean, uh, P. Diddy, yourself, and Chucky. Okay. Uh, that 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 record was... <laughs> there's a lot of people on that record. <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember Tony Pope doing doing the the, um, the drums. You know, listen, I I just did my part when he <laughs> <laughs> when he when Pope brought the brought the track in. I just did my part. Yeah. Okay. But Tony Pope aren't even listed here unless they're not. Rashad's... No. Maybe maybe it was maybe it was Rashad Smith. Yeah, yeah, Richard is is listed. Yes, Richard. I thought, I thought for sure it was Tony Pope, but I could be wrong. You, you see, yeah. I couldn't remember my own song. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been it's been a minute. Yeah. Then, are, are you involved in vocal recording as well, or just the track? Uh, back then, just uh, outside of Smile Again on the Bad Boy, just the track. Okay, so when. When the girls are in the studio and biggies that you you don't get involved with in in recording. No, I wasn't there. Like like like, Bad Boy was run like a like a machine, like a factory. Wow. There were, sometimes Puff had three rooms going, and there were two hit factories back in the day. So there, and then there was a quad studio. Sometimes he had a hit factory going, hit factory one, hit factory two, and quad going at the same time. And you know, so we we just did our work. And if you were in the spot, then you were you worked. If you wasn't, the train is moving. Wow. It was it was definitely bad boy was the truth back then. Yeah. Yeah, because well, I guess because they were just producing the hits and everything seemed to have come out was a hit. So I can just imagine how um they were just they just needed things to move so they can on to the next one. Um, mm -hmm. but um, let me see if we if we've got you anywhere else on 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 the total album. No, apart on that, can't you see? No um, one else. Pun. I think I, I did no one else. Um, yeah. no one else. No, it, we have put um, Poke and Puffy listed on no one else. The South Bronx sample. Okay. Uh, Damn. Unless Damn. no one else would. Um, no, I know I did that one. Are you not 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 talking about the um no not the um not the one with the 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 rap version. Um, no, okay, yeah. Well, we'll 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 find out where the credits are. We'll find out where the credits are. Um, but I think. Um, but apart from so you did Faith, you did Usher, you did uh, Total. Any any anyone else that you were doing um, in in Bad Boy? I, I know we've got a lot of um, we got a lot of people who who put in messages around um, um, any work that you did with Alison Williams. That's a girl. Yeah, I, I did work with Alison. I have a record that's in my arsenal. That it's unreleased. Actually, um, I'm I'm believing that it's going to be released this year. Were you still a bad boy at that time? No, this is way after bad boy. This is okay. like this is way way after bad boy. Okay, okay. Well, let's. Talk. I mean, um, after you did the total stuff, um, let's let's just stay with the bad boy. Can you remember any other tracks? Okay, is that when you went to do my life? After you did total. You, uh, yeah, I think they they came around the same time. Okay. Not too far away. From, they weren't too far away from each other, like those records. So My Life as an album, 
I think for most people, it, it's it's one of those, you know, we think of River Nation and we think of my life um, that has such an impact, you know, just the message Mary was singing in there. Although some people would look back and say, look, 80% of the album was a lot of samples and remakes and sample stuff. But for the ones that you did um, on, on the, did you make, you said you had a conscious effort not to, um, use a sample and trying to create something original. Yeah, um, I got a call from Puff one day. Say, her, um, I need two ballads, and I know you got them. That was the exact words. So I was, I was really a balladeer outside of the uh, download, you know, production situation. I was, I was really a balladeer. Okay. <laughs> and, and so. Uh, you know that the the ballads, that that was that's who was who I am, who I was. But so that that was that was that was it. Like that, the last thing I did was those two ballads on my, Mary's album. That just set it off for me. Uh, when you set it off, I mean that got me a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, we could hear Bub. So does he? So because you you did writing on on one more night, but on the Mary stuff, um, I can see, you know, you gotta believe. It seems if you did the production alongside mm. Chucky, um, but you didn't do the, any of the writing. How, no, how did the Big Bob? And we had they had Big Bob as a writer. They had Faith as a writer. Um, yeah. they have Tessie, Casey, yeah, Casey. That you know, you know, do you know that? Um, you gotta believe was a duet, okay? Yeah, it was, okay. It was, it was originally a duet with Casey and, and Mary, and then That's they just took up his vocals. Oh, had they split up by this time when, when it was coming out, or did they just think it sounded better just with her? I don't know what happened, but <laughs> that was a rough season between those two. Okay. Did it sound better with him on it or without him? I mean, just you being able that you listen to both versions. Um, remembering back, like a duet with Mary and KC, it was it was powerful. It would have been a powerful record, but it's still it's still Mary was still captured the emotion and the soul without mm -hmm. him. You know, he comes in. There's a there's a little part where you hear his voice on the record. That's they kept yeah. that. Mary, 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 Kai, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but I can hear Bob doing backgrounds on it. You can, you can sort of hear Bob on the background. Okay, but was he then? You did the ballad then. What did Chucky then do? Does he? Because you're both listed as as producers on then. Uh. Rest in peace, Chucky. That was a big loss to us, um, to 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 the music industry. Um, just want to sidebar and just pay mm. respect to Chucky. That he was a great producer and a great human being at that. Um, that particular record, um, you gotta believe, Chucky. He contributed to to the percussion. Okay. Was were you doing the vocal recordings for that track as well, or? No, nah, that was one of those records that you hit, you do the track, you know, um, and, and if, you, and, 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 if they take it. and if Puff liked the track, he would get it to the writers. Oh, so you do the track and then they write to the track. Yeah, and then somebody does the recording. Yeah, yeah, like. That was that was that was really uh, that really you know when I think about it it really it really kind of put a damper on my what I love to do more than produce because I'm I'm a writer first okay so but but I was a producer then and it worked for me you know um, but they so they were they were great. Puff had a writing team, 
Like he had he had people with pens. They would come to the office with pens and pads. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like he had he had it on lock. Okay. So in a way, like you mentioned, like a factory, it's not that if you sat down and wrote to the song, it could slow things down. So just make the music somebody writes and then you can yeah. move to the next. Yeah, okay. you know, I don't think it was it's I don't know what it was, but it was something with uh, I had this that uh experience with a couple of um you know uh production companies that I worked with back in the day. You know, you're you're just a producer, you know. So the the writing part, nobody never really paid attention to that, but but Teddy gave me opportunity to write, you know, and um and I think that's why I was surprised that you didn't co-produce um, One More Night, but you said you wrote. And it's like, but we knew you more so as the guy making the music as opposed to the lyricist. So yeah. it is it is a strange, it is a strange um, irony that you mentioned it. Um, right. th did that happen again with um, Never Wanna Be, Never Wanna Live Without You? You yeah, came up that, with production. Yeah, I came up with the, with the production and Chucky. Okay, so did you guys do it together, or you did his stuff? You left it, and he just fin. Or we we did it together. Okay, okay, and and I guess you didn't have the opportunity to say to Puff, is it you know? Can I record it? Can I not see? Can I not try and affect the emotions? Were they or it's? It was. It is like he had a system that worked. Yeah, and and he wasn't deviating from that system that worked. That you know he had his line of producers, and he had his line of writers, and he put them all together, and he made the bad boy brand. He made it work. So you're saying that after you, after the My Life album blew up, and and all the tracks on there, did people start looking for you directly, or did they go for Puff to to work with you? What happens? Uh, they well, I had I, I had a management team there, so they was going through to my management team, you know, because I had developed such a reputation. You know, yeah, reputation through the, you know, down low Eminem, the New Jack thing. Now with Puff, so I had I had two of both of the two of the both best best excuse me two of the best worlds in the early nineties. Mm -hmm. It's part of the ninety. New Jack Swing era, and then I was part of the Bad Boy era. That's that's monumental. That's yeah. you know what I'm saying. So today, that to have those, and then having the experience as a youngster, and I'm I'm just thinking about this. This is really good. Like you know what I'm saying <laughs> to have those yeah. things.